uh, AP high school AP one two three four. Uh, related to high school, we have is uh, science, and uh, we also have foreign language three, uh, Spanish one two three, and French, and also uh, SAT uh, test groups. So uh, this is how we manage our groups. Uh, we have four PMs you know, in the study groups. Uh, they are high school students, so you know, uh, they uh, each uh, PM manage about five or six groups. And for each group, whenever returns, they will report the group status need uh, reports uh, weekly. This is a way used to manage all those teams together. Uh, PM name schedules for your groups. How do you schedule your weekly meetings? So, well, we will discuss that later. And uh, we will run eight sessions, means eight weeks for the study first. And then uh, after eight weeks, we have one retrospect, uh, retrospective uh, to discuss lesson and learn during your groups. So all those common questions uh, that you want to drive from the study materials, change your direction uh, for continuous study, you, you, you use those time to discuss it. Now I'll go back to the slides. For all our groups, we use a for called Zoom. Uh, I think of that if you don't know it, we also create one uh, Zoom house house for you to quickly learn to uh, to uh, to to uh, manage this Zoom uh, host the Zoom meetings. Also, Frank, for our uh, TCF director, will uh, teach you today how do you give you a quick training how do you use a Zoom. We recommend all your meetings uh, will be around 60 minutes. Uh, also. You if uh, be aware that because we apply for the account for each team, so the free account has only last 40 minutes. So if the the meeting was automatically closed, you need to log in again. So and then it meeting can be continued. This is a uh, listed is all our group study strategy. So if you go to your uh, teams, uh, you will see for example if I show here. Mm. AP Calculus BC. Uh, this is your team, the whole uh, groups. And then we pre uh, pair each other together based on your uh, either hobbies or based on the different, uh, based on the school, uh, and also based on the, the uh, we pair the girls together, uh, boys, uh, you know, second together. So this is how we pre prepare the, you know, predefine the pairs. So when you study together, you'll be paired uh, to study each. Uh, you'll be have uh, either two members or three members to pair together, and each uh, pair, each team of members need to teach one week. Uh, remember, you teach one week, and then the next week will be take turn by next pair, so we'll be teaching next week. Study uh, ahead of time for each pair, and then prepare to teach to the group during the week. So we recommend each uh, each pair to group meeting is about two or three times a week, and then with this you need to prepare. Uh, enough uh, homeworks. The homeworks need to be practiced every day to keep your memory fresh and then build up a daily uh, routine study habit. This is the study strategy we, uh, we uh, recommend our, uh, you know, each group. How do you study? Regarding the study materials, um, we recommend to find the common study materials. Each student, you are from different schools. Uh, if you're looking for here, uh, you know, uh, we have students from Along, uh, we have um, Pensa Creek High, East Chapel Hill High, uh, different school, we can AB class. See, uh, so you have a, we also have a private school from Cary Academy and uh, also from Durham Academy. So when you study, you have different background, but we recommend you all coming to you know discuss the first meeting. You need to address the first meeting by this weekend, so you will study uh, together from next week. You will come out some uh, you know common study materials. I know uh, quite a lot of AP class. You have some uh, AP textbooks. Uh, you need to discuss together to finalize your study materials and then take a pair to teach uh, you know chapter one, next pair chapter two or. One, two, three, chapter six, four, four, five, six, next chapters to study. Uh, if you want to find some teacher to guide you, your teams, 
your groups need to have some agreements. As long as everybody agree that you can, uh, you know, hire the teacher and you split the fees, so we are fine with that. We also, we only recommend here is the how do you study content. For English studies, you need to cover vocabularies, reading, writing, every week. Uh, every week, you need to write at least one paper, uh, read uh, the books you define it, vocabulary at least 20 uh, you know, to 30 vocabulary words. Math, you need to cover the basic concept and the practice. This is the key. There's no secret. Always Math always be practiced. Foreign language, if you take foreign language, you need to speak out. This is uh, you need to, you know, in your remote uh, group meetings, you need to speak out. AP, I just talked about AP class, you need to follow AP uh, books. You, in your group, you need to discuss. SSAT uh, is for the middle school to apply for private high school. Uh, SAT is for applying for the college. So no secret, always be more. There'll be more vocabulary, reading and writing. Uh, we listed seven key points in your group study. So first, it's very important that you should have your first meeting by this weekend. Our PM will send in to you all those meeting details, uh, as well as all your, uh, your team, uh, all those uh, people's communication information, uh, contact information, uh, email address, WeChat ID. We recommend everybody has WeChat IDs. You can, uh, you know, uh, get the group together. You can also use a Google Hangout if you want to, that's all the, your team to, to decide it. So the first meeting by this weekend, know each other. I know quite a lot of your old friends from high school, from middle school, from elementary school. Define the, the topics and then define your study materials. This is for next eight weeks. Or uh, whoever be the, uh, the team lead for teaching, uh, you know, during the week, you need to always review and then discuss the last meeting's uh, study key points, right? And then you always be remember to plan your, um, uh, your what you're going to teach for the, your next meeting. Number four, always keep your video enabled. Uh, so don't, uh, you know, hide yourself behind of the camera. To, so this is re respected to each other, especially on the remote study. So you need to show your face a video so everybody uh, you know can uh, can talk to you face by face you, you know. so number five do not make comments on unrelated topics so if you are doing the we are the study groups right so during your study you know you need to focus on what you are going to study don't talk about the unrelated issues uh, you always keep positive attitude on the topics that you discuss so if you are the uh, the 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 if you are the, the captain to teach during the week, you'll keep uh, positive. Number seven is encourage your members. Don't uh, criticize them. So this is the key point for the uh, peer study together as a group. Uh, because you are, you are student to, uh, you know, student by student, help each other to, to keep going. This is very important that you need to remember. Positive and encourage and you keep your video active uh, all, all the time to enable. And uh, whoever uh, drive, uh, drive the meeting, you need to be prepared for the key points that you want to teach. And uh, you need to have enough homework. So when we talk about homework, it's not being once a week that you do something and then forget it and you know, next week we go to the next uh, topic. We shouldn't study in that way. So if you have the homework, it should be daily based. And then during your three times or even more meetings that you decided, we recommend at least two to three times uh, uh, you meet together. Then you need to talk about the key point, review it, uh, discuss the homework, uh, you know, questions, uh, you know, whoever doing it, uh, you know, mass use out in different ways. You can discuss it, uh, you know, which way is much uh, easier, much faster. Any questions you need to, you know, cover? Uh, final Fridays, you need to review everything that you learn for this week. This is, uh, you know, you, you need to keep yourself disciplined as well as keep everyone on the same page. Uh, this is uh, regarding how 
uh, how do we, um, uh, you know, how do we uh, as a team to study together peer by peer? Uh, this information for each team, uh, we will send it tonight, 5 p.m. You will get this information. For the meeting, uh, we have a web page also. Uh, So under tcf.org, uh, tcf uh, you will see one manual called support UIs. Under support UIs, all our uh, shared information will be listed in here. Once you select the study materials, you need to tell your PM, whoever the, your, your team captain needs to send it to your team PM, to tell PM that you know the next eight session, eight weeks, what are the study materials you are going to use? And the PM will update it uh, in the sheet files, and uh, we will have a IT, uh, IT lead will be updated in the website. So everyone will see uh, your, your study materials. And then this is your uh, body uh, study groups information. Uh, the sheet file will send it through emails by PM tonight. Uh, project manager, uh, project management, we will have all the team to sub, sub, submit the subject uh, status. Uh, that'll be the example for the, for the project management I'll show you here is. So this is another project that the TCEF is running is a, uh, uh, English, uh, English, uh, you know, study. Uh, we have over 70, 80 students, local students, to teach uh, China students uh, the English. So we run uh, 38 groups. So each group is about uh, about four to six people together, at least two from us and two from China. So each team every week they will send in the status report to the PM. PM will update the, the into the sheet files that I just sh show it here. There will be a PM will be updated this sheet files. And then we will have an IT lead will be uploaded into the website. So each team, they will see their each week status uh, in here. So this is how we manage that we are not just let you uh, go and then run your own and nobody knows what's going on and uh, what's the status uh, when uh, what you are learning and what's the status so this is how we uh you know help you to also control yourself and uh, and manage the whole uh 20 uh, 23 uh, teams groups for this uh, uh peer study so tonight we will send in this communication sheet files by pm and the meeting id here's the meeting id we separate this one uh, you also can find it from the website. If you go to support US, you'll see online meeting details. We listed uh, for each group, uh, what's the meeting uh, ID emails uh, for host. You need an email ID and then the password. Password will send it to you by email separately for each group. This is the password. And but for the for the general information and then you know for the attendance who attend the meeting just need a meeting ID or the zip or meeting link that's enough so you can get it. To in order to know who is your project manager uh, managers will be sending to you and also also published to the website. Here is the 4 p.m. We listed for high school. Uh, Jonathan is for high school AP classes. Uh, Harold for the old foreign language, and uh, Gabriel, uh, he is responsible for the high school science. Uh, Matthew is for the middle school and uh, for the middle uh, for the middle schools. So this is uh, your in order to find out who your PM you can uh, looking for the uh, website. We will post it tonight. So now I give. Uh, the presentation role to Frank. He will teach you how to do the Zoom. Okay, since you are all high students, so I'm 
um, we use Zoom. So for the equipment, we highly recommend you use a headset, then like you use with your phone, or you can use a Bluetooth or not, that's fine. Because the reason is that it's more private and also pick up the uh, less environment noise and also your like echo. So that's so that for the meeting college. And some students may say, uh, when they join Zoom, they couldn't hear anything or couldn't be heard. That's the reason, because when they join Zoom, there will be always be a green button that says here, join audio conference by computer. Make sure you always choose that. If you don't choose that, Zoom will assume you are using a phone to dial in for your own. That way, your computer won't pick up or play any song. So, so that's why you have to always click this join audio. You don't want to click every time. At the bottom, there's a checkbox. You can check this, and each time it will automatically connect you to your first microphone speaker. So um, after we log in, so you don't really need an account to join Zoom meeting. Okay, all you need is just a URL and download the Zoom app. That's it. After you get in, make sure you mute yourself. The, on the bottom left of the menu bar, the mute button. And uh, we recommend for this uh, for this study, you always turn your video on so that other students can see you. Better for people who interact with each other. And if you want to see your group members, there's a button that says manage participants. You can see other participants. If the green button is very important, it's just to show you how to share your screen. Okay, just click that and then you have options to either share whole desktop or some um, uh, certain uh, app like window, like a browser window or not. So the support chat. And you can, so if you are the meeting host, you can also record the meeting. In case some students didn't join the then you can just send him or her the uh, video. So this is for showing the um, And uh, here is how do we use um, as a host. Most students may be just as being a participant, not the host. So here is the how you join the host. First, you need to start the um, app. So because for a participant, all you need is just trigger the URL. It automatically start the Zoom. If you want to schedule a meeting, you need to find the Zoom app on your desktop. Or you have an account, or you have the icon or logo of a Zoom on your desktop, if you can't find it, there's a search button on your Windows button app. Just type Zoom. There will be a start Zoom options for you. After that, you need to log into your Zoom. So for each group, each study group, I, I think you already could be created a Zoom account. So you can just use that Zoom account and the password being assigned to you. I think each group, you can either lack someone to always be the meeting host, or you can take turn to be the meeting host, right? So this is all up to each uh, study group. So after you log in to the Zoom, this is what you will see. So make sure you click the home, then there are some options so that you is that for you to schedule a meeting, the schedule button. And then it will just ask you for the meeting, when the meeting will start, uh, and the durations for your options, probably only 40 minutes. So that's fine. I think right now, for Zoom, they supported because of the coronavirus, they, they probably already removed the limit for 40 minutes. But if it, in case you are being kicked kick out, after the 40 minutes, you can just rejoin the meeting. Um, so that's no problem of that. Um, for the meeting ID, make sure you use the personal meeting ID. That way, each time the meeting ID won't change. Password is optional for each team. And make sure the advanced options usually don't have to change. By default, it's enabled join before the host. So if the host can start a meeting, other students can still be uh, meeting. After that, you can just schedule the meeting. To start a meeting, after you log into the Zoom, you can go to instead of going to the home, you can go to the meetings. 
where all your scheduled meeting will be there, and then just click start. That way you can start the meeting. It's just how you do it. Just try it out. It's pretty easy for high school students. And they, again, so you can elect someone in your group, or you can take turns to be the meeting host. All right, so any questions? Okay, so uh, that's all for the room. Any question you can either ask your parents to uh, ask in the WeChat group or send me email. Okay, uh, any other questions? So we recommend uh, you know, to start uh, the first meeting by this weekend. Uh, all those information that for your teams, uh, you know, the, all this contact information will be sent out by tonight. And, and so tomorrow uh, is uh, Saturday and Sunday, you have two days to start all those uh, the meetings that you, you paired with other people. Uh, you know, have the group meeting first to know, get to know each other, fin finalize your study materials together. Uh, and then from next week, you be getting into the, the route to start. Any questions? No questions? Okay, great. Okay, thank you. Thank you, everyone.